Hi guys, this is Chris Morton from binaryoptions.net.au and in this binary options tutorial I'll be going through common binary options complaints and scams. And this um, is a new uh, page on my site um, where, the, where I actually post all the common questions um, for you to go through and if you actually have a complaint and none of the actual um, answers or resolutions to the common questions sort of fit your particular complaint then you can actually post it on my forum and it's going to be my job to actually resolve that complaint with you. Um, I have a good relationship with a lot of the brokers and actually have a contact um, with definitely one of the, um, the members over in uh, the various broker departments and I can definitely get your complaint resolved and if they don't resolve it well that's just a huge warning for other um, traders out there definitely not to go to that particular broker. So I believe all traders deserve a fair and safe place to trade. The majority of traders do have no issues. However, I'm here just in case something does go wrong. So here are the common complaints um, and I'll address the various resolutions or common resolutions of these um, complaints. So I've broken it up into f sort of five main categories or six main categories, that being withdrawals, bonuses, software, deposits, accounts, and uh, various um, scams out there. So withdrawal complaints. So they're probably, I can probably break these into actually three subcategories being delayed withdrawals, verification issues, and decline withdrawals. So when you go to my um, complaint section on my website, you can actually drill down into the various um, sort of common withdrawal complaints and actually see if there's any um, help there um, that you might not have thought of before actually submitting a complaint. So some common, um, I guess, uh, complaints within delayed withdrawals are, um, or common resolutions are that you can actually solve is, uh, well, firstly, a delayed withdrawal is basically when, um, for some reason you've actually submit your withdrawal request and it's been delayed and um, this can throw a bit of a red flag as to as to why it's been delayed. You might be worried that you've actually chosen a broker that um, is a bit of a has a bad reputation, um, is not is actually going to take your money. So you need to check uh, the broker's withdrawal terms. Um, there might be something in there that you're not aware of. For example, they're, they're in their terms they might process process withdrawals and might take them up to 72 hours. So if you're still in that 72 hours, you, you, don't, you can't expect to get your money within basically five or 10 minutes. It might take three days before you actually get your, get your withdrawal processed. Another step is have you completed the verification process? Um, a lot of people actually don't do this um, and the brokers don't really come knocking on your door making sure you have done it. So you need to actually go through and verify your identification before they're actually going to process your withdrawal. Um, another one is, did you accept a bonus? Um, each bonus usually has uh, its own set of uh, terms and conditions. Um, and if you haven't passed those requirements, they, they won't process, process your withdrawal. So make sure you don't have any of those problems. If you still have a problem with a delayed withdrawal, then please contact me. Okay, the next one is verification issues, um, which sort of goes on to the previous one. Some of these issues um, might actually be co-joint issues that you actually have um, a couple of issues that uh, are forming the main issue. So did you read all the verification procedure and have you followed the verification process? If you haven't done that, then that's probably why you've got verification issues. Maybe you're missing um, a certain bit of paper, some sort of ID, that they require to identify you. It's quite important that they get this because uh, it stops a lot of fraud. It's actually better for you, the trader, that they do this. Um, the last one is um, having a decline withdrawal. So you've actually gone through and submitted your withdrawal uh, request, but it's been denied. So again, this will probably come back to some sort of verification, some sort of uh, terms and conditions. Um, I suggest when this happens is to contact their support immediately to find out why. And if they won't give you an answer, then that's a red flag and please contact me. Um, so moving on to the bonus complaints. Um, 
this sort of intertwines with um, the previous ones. A lot of times when you're trying to withdraw um, some winnings um, and you're not allowed to, it might be because you've accepted some sort of bonus or you've actually violated some terms and conditions. So the first one is, is a bonus terms and condi conditions violation. So make sure that you've read all the terms associated with the bonus and make sure you don't violate those terms. Doing so can actually um, forfeit all of your um, your account balance, all your winnings. So be very careful and make sure you read all the terms. Um, another one is actually you've requested for a bonus to be removed, but they have not done this request. Um, be very careful. This is again reading the bonus terms and conditions. Some uh, brokers, just by the nature of depositing, actually attach a bonus to your particular account and um, and that's actually just an automatic thing that's sort of hard set in their code. Um, if you don't want that bonus, you're going to have to actually ask them to remove it. But before um, you do, don't trade because once you trade, that's an actual, you have actually accepted the terms and conditions of the site and the bonus um, and there's nothing they can do. They're in their powers to actually um, hold you to the, the turnover requirements of the bonus before you can withdraw. Uh, so just be aware of reading all the terms and conditions. Um, so yeah, to get your bonus removed, don't place a trade and contact support and make sure they've removed it. So moving on to software complaints. Um, so this is broken down into two main software complaints being software glitches and software fairness. Uh, a software glitch um, can, can be anything, you know, it's software. Um, all software from time to time, as good as the software is these days, um, there can be the odd glitch or unexpected um, behavior of the software. So if this happens, you've got to contact their support and try and find out what happens. Get any screenshots, keep uh, and submit those screenshots to them. Um, the bigger one is a glitch that actually where you, you think you might have lost some money. Um, you may not have, it might just be a glitch in what you're seeing and behind the scenes your money's still there so you need to contact support straight away to get that solved. Um, and if this if this has happened to you um, and they're not doing anything about it, this is when you've got to get in contact with me and submit a complaint. Um, so another one we get is a lot of questions saying soft, the software isn't fair. Um, and this usually happens when someone's lost a big amount and they just claim the software cannot be fair. Um, that they've just been missed out by a pip here or there. Um, generally, 99.99% .99 of the times, the software is fair. It's 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 highly unlikely. It's not in the in the broker's interests to to be running uh, dodgy or broken software. Um, you never hear of anyone who's won a big amount complaining. So it always seems to be when you lose a big amount, suddenly the software is is not working. Uh, so generally. Um, you just have to get over the fact that you've taken some losses and move on. Another one to make sure is that are you using a, a broker that's regulated? So if a broker is regulated, you actually have, um, for the actual broker to be regulated, they have to go through a str stringent regulation uh, process and licensing process. Um, that, would not, that would also include that their software is deemed fair. So that's one way straight off the bat is to join a regulated broker and you know that you're going to be dealing with an absolute um, reputable broker. So another one is deposit um, complaints. This is basically when you're trying to deposit or fund your account. Uh, one of the biggest ones is that you've actually you know, put in your details, you've hit submit and the amount has not been credited. Um, so a lot of times this might just be some sort of, again, some sort of little bug in the system. It might not have actually um, debited your account um, but then it may have and it's not showing. This is where you need to contact support and try and find out what happened. Um, another reason why it might actually um, not actually take your money is that you haven't verified your account. Some brokers actually require you to submit all your verification details before you can actually um, um, fund your account with real money. Um, so that, so just be aware of that. Um, and another uh, complaint is they've actually closed your account so this can actually um, happen quite a lot um, if you haven't followed the or if you've broken the terms and conditions. So again, read all the terms and conditions before joining a broker um, and this will stop a lot of heartache down the track. So just make sure you've completed all the verification process. So have all your 
basically get a copy of your of your um, latest water bill, electricity bill, copy of your ID, uh, copy of your passport, and have all these ready to go before you join a broker, um, and get that actually approved before you fund the account. Even if you don't, even if you can fund the account before being verified, I advise to do the verification first and make sure your account is a valid account. Um, another thing a lot of people try to do is join from a restricted country or try and join from a country where they don't accept. There's reasons why they don't accept some countries. A lot of brokers won't accept US traders. So if you try and join from the US, they're just going to close your account. That's just a no-brainer. But again, if you have any troubles outside of these common um, resolutions, please contact me. Um, and uh, yeah, some more um, complaints are just basically on your account itself. Um, and these just come to basic, basic um, someone's broken the terms and conditions. Um, this might be um, a, a broker has actually accused you, the trader, of breaking the terms of their site and in doing so have actually closed your account down and um, maybe even taken all your account balance as a part of that, not even refunding it, um, which is actually in their powers to do if you've broken any terms. So you've got to be really careful. On the flip side, um, if you think that the actual broker is trying to break their own rules, um, like you've played by their rules, but they're actually breaking them themselves, this is where you actually have to get in contact with me um, so we can solve it for you. Um, so moving on to the last one is actual, um, a lot of the scams uh, claims out there. You'll quickly find on the internet there's a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of things have been written about services and brokers being scams a lot of the times they're not actually scams it's just that you've actually haven't read the terms and conditions of how the service works and therefore straight away you quickly think oh this is not this is not a broker i can trust it must be a scam the people behind it are scams a lot of the times it's just that the trader um isn't aware of what they, they're getting into um and feel um sort of they've been duped into something that they weren't expecting but there are legitimate cases where some services out there are just downright being very fraudulent and scams and this is where i try and help you um, choose the best broker and signal services so some so some common things that you should be aware of when joining a signal service or a broker service so firstly with a signal service is be aware of unrealistic um, in the money percentages um, and, and see what um, other other sites are actually saying about a single signal service. Um, a lot of times they might claim a very high in the money percentage, but in reality it's 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 much below. Like if they're claiming they can give you eighty percent, eighty five percent, ninety percent in the money um, signals, but it's actually more like fifty three percent, fifty five percent, then that's a bit bit of a red flag. Another one are just fake signals that just. I don't know, just made up signals and that's quickly going to lose your money if you follow those signals. Um, when you come across sites that have, that have unrealistic claims of promising you millions overnight, stay away from those services, just, just downright stay away. Um, and does the service receive any negative reviews or is it on any blacklist um, in any popular sites like, my so like myself or any other um, binary option mentors out there? Um, and that can be pretty much a quick quick rule to stay to stay away from that service if there if there's a lot of negative reviews out there um, same with the brokers uh, is it basically just to, to trade with a regulated broker if, you, if you're trading with an unregulated broker that is okay um, I do list and endorse a lot of unregulated brokers um, these ones I trust and have a good relationship with but there are ones out there that um, I don't know quite so well and I'd probably advise you to stay away especially if there's negative reviews out there so just visit my site and you'll actually have a scam sort of list there of any brokers that um, I feel haven't um, met their obligations. Um, yeah, so if you, after reading all that, um, if, you, if you've come across or had any troubles with a broker um, and those particular resolutions don't solve what you're after, then this is where you need to come to me and help in resolving your complaint. So I... I, I, I um, encourage you to submit your complaint complaint via my forum and write as much detail as you can about the complaint include any particular um, details or screenshots that you have um, and then i'll contact the broker let them know that this complaint is actually out there for everyone to see 
and let's see how quickly they uh, take action to actually try and get to the bottom of that. A lot of times it can be resolved. Um, it might be just a simple miscommunication between the trader and the broker. But if the broker wants your business and future business of other traders, they're going to go that extra mile to um, resolve that complaint. Okay, so if this is one of the first times you've been watching one of my videos, um, please subscribe to my channel. It's a great way of bookmarking my channel. So next time you log into YouTube, um, I'm going to be all my new video uploads are going to be um, in your news feed so you can keep on top of everything that is binary options. Um, I also have a whole bunch of broker reviews and signal reviews which I encourage you to click through and, and, and read them before choosing a signal or broker service. So until next time, may all your trades be profitable.